So what you just saw was me practicing this whole new technique on the guitar, which I picked up from Andre Nieri. If you guys don't know who Andre is, I highly recommend you guys go check out his playing. He's an incredibly gifted player from Brazil, and he's basically giving away this technique, which is pretty signature to his playing. It's not something, um, the main core of the technique is not something really new, but it's the first time I've seen someone use it, use it on the guitar this way from Andre. Um, and he's basically giving it away for free in his, um, what, what he's calling as a finger picking challenge. And the first part of the video was a response to that, um, um, to that challenge. Um, it's a multi-day, uh, multi-part series where he's going to break down his technique. He goes all the way from, um, how you hold your pick and how, well, how you hide away the pick to free up your fingers. I'll go into details what this technique is about to basically how you can practice it. So I, all the links are in the description box below. I, I recommend you guys go check it out. Guys, my name is Farhan and I'm a singer, songwriter and musician. And today I'm going to dive into how I'm practicing this new technique on the guitar. If you do like the video, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you do like to see more content, do subscribe to the channel. So this technique uses four fingers that you free up by putting your pick in the space between, between your pinky here. And essentially it's a very different sounding technique as compared to let's say alternate or economy picking or sweet picking. It sounds very different and I think it's a very useful technique to have in your arsenal. So there are two parts to this technique. The first part is basically about ergonomics. So how you can hide your pick, where you can hide it away so you free up your four fingers, right? So that that's basically what Andre calls as the magic pick trick. Uh, it's essentially a very cool trick. Well, it's, it's, it's basically hiding your pick away See, you can see I'm not I'm not there yet. I'm practicing, but it's basically frees up your three fingers. Okay, so that's that's the first part of the trick. Okay, um, and or technique. So the second part of the technique is to be able to play different subdivisions to a click or a metronome. Okay, so you need to be able to play things like a quarter note to as a basic, right? And then you move on to eighth notes. Then you move on to eighth note triplets, then you move on to 16th notes. So the first part of the video that you just saw was me playing those exercises. As you can see, the technique is still not there yet. I'll go to the problem areas that I'm facing now, but essentially I just started practicing after I saw Andres' video. Um, so there's still quite a bit of work to do and I'll go over the problem areas now. So the first part of the problem that I'm facing with this technique is string noise, right? So it's obvious from what you hear from my playing. When I'm switching strings, I'm not dampening the open strings with either my palm or I'm not dampening by, um, by my left hand. So as you heard from the tone, the amp that I was using was a decent, with, with a decent amount of gain, but the volume was rolled down to let's say half, halfway. So it's, 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 you need to be able to play this at a high gain as well, right? So that's, that's something that you will be doing. So it's important to be able to do that. Uh, by the way, I was using a, a Marshall profile from Michael Britt on my camper. If you guys want to see more videos of the amp profile, do comment below and let me know what you want to see. I'll, I'll come up with some more videos of what you guys want to see. So the next problem that I'm facing with this technique is to be able to play the subdivisions in time consistently. The keyword here is consistent, right? So you need to be able to recall any technique that you're learning over and over again and consistently. That's when you know that you have mastered that technique and then you can move on to, let's say, higher tempos, okay? Um, I can do this much better with other techniques that is my main tone generation, right? So something like um, alternate picking or legato. I feel much more comfortable on that because that's my go-to technique for, like I said, tone generation, okay? Uh, so again, this is a whole new technique, so it'll take some time before I get to that level, okay? 
um, and it's it goes for anyone right it, as when you're learning a new technique you have to give time and you know you need to practice it a lot you need to put uh, you need to break down that technique break down the problem areas and tackle them right so you need to put a lot of time and you know time into your practice that's when you'll get better with any technique guys if you know me you'll know that I keep on saying that being able to play these subdivisions correctly in time is key to making you sound professional it's not the only thing but it is one of the most important things so whatever technique you're playing make sure that you're able to play those subdivisions correctly okay the last part of the problem that I'm facing is to be able to play 16th notes at that tempo of 120 BPM as you have seen from the playing I didn't play the 16th note on that tempo it's because the only tempo I can play to in the 16th notes is 80 BPM I've, I've checked it and that's the that's the that's the BPM where I'm most comfortable playing and I can repeat this technique consistently and in time okay so I need to basically raise that bar to 120 BPM or even further and again it's just putting the time and practice into into this technique to further master this okay so it's all about you know practice and and putting time into this okay so guys I hope you enjoyed this video like I said the first part of the video is mostly a response to Andre's finger picking challenge series I look forward to more stuff that he puts out in the coming days and Andre man if you're seeing this thank you so much for putting this video series out to show people how you use this technique and man thanks you're an incredibly gifted player very inspiring I've seen your videos and first time I've seen you was that another day solo um, and I came across it by a post from uh, Peter Honore from uh, Andertens um, where you played that on a telly he's a big telly fan so uh, he, his caption was you don't need anything but a telly anyways uh, thank you so much for this uh, video series and yeah guys if you haven't seen that another day solo it, it's 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 mind-blowing like that's where I first saw that technique so I recommend you guys go check that video out so I'll put the links in the description box below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff coming until then see you next time